Hi, Mr. Bean. You're checking out Toby. Right. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Off the Cuff. Today is actually a two-parter. The first, I'm gonna show you a pair of Darby cuffs that I recently got. I did some research on them, but I really have no idea anything about this company. If you know anything about them, please let me know in the comment section. Okay, that's part one. Part two is a special treat. It's uh, something I went on eBay. It's a newspaper article that you're gonna wanna see because it features an amazing collection of handcuffs. And you're gonna wanna stick around for that. That's at the end of this video. Here's the deal. Recently got these cuffs on eBay. It says J.H. Johnson and Company. And I know I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. Oligar, A-L-I-G-A-R-8. And Johnson Company. I couldn't find anything Johnson-wise really with handcuffs. I even looked in, you know, the British Handcuff Annual, Joe's Great Book. But this does turn out to be a city. I found out that this is an actual city in India. It looks like this company, it didn't specifically say it made handcuffs, but they did metal work. So that, I'm not convinced that they actually made them. I think that they were just a store, like, this took place basically when India was still a, a colony of England. And so they would have stores selling English goods, you know, and, and trading and all that kind of thing. Anyway, they do have a little number 56. Okay. I don't think these were made by the J.H. Johnson Company. I think they were made by Thompson. Because if you look at this pair of Thompsons that I have, maker's mark on there, these are very similar to the mystery cuffs, okay? Size is similar. And in here, there's a curve to the bow. Some Darbys have them and some don't. And it just it makes it a little more comfortable to wear, a little less painful. It's, you know, it's rounded. And both of these cuffs were made the same way. See where the keyholes go? Remember this, this is the Johnson and this is the Thompson. Similar keyholes, similar end caps, and just similar all the way around, even the swivels. Um, obviously, there's two different sizes. Now, these are Fields and Sons. There's differences that you can spot right away with these two. Okay, look at the shape of the bow. It has that little, it's like a belly sticking out, like, you know, a little bulge here. This doesn't have, the Johnson doesn't have it. Neither does the Thompson. There's the Thompson. See how there's this bulge right there? That's something that is, you can see on the Field and Sons, but not on the Mystery Cuffs. Lock tubes are about the same size, but there is a difference in style. It's almost like this goes up further. This here is much thicker. So, I don't think that they're Field and Sons. I think they're Thompson, and I think they were just made for export, sent to this business in India, and they just put their stamp on it and sold it locally. And it happens to be the city. But they were interesting. I like getting cuffs uh, that have, you know, unusual stamping, whether it's from a previous owner or somebody that carries their products or whatever or if it has like, you know, the constabulary or the police force name, I, that just adds a little to the story of the cuffs, I think. They even have an H, like Hyatt used to stamp, you know, the individual workmen or craftsmen would stamp sometimes. So if you have any information about these, please let us know. Really appreciate it. And stick around for part two of this video. It's a really cool newspaper. All right. So check this out. 
This is the Virginia Pilot from 1911. Looks like the front page. And a whole article, trying not to get the glares, on handcuffs. Look at that. It's ancient and modern irons to shackle prisoners. And they have, oh, it's like a wish list. Look at that. There's the Palmers, Cummings. There's the one that I still don't have. Plugs on a chain. Sorry. Over here, the Bean Giants. There's the Lily Irons. Read what it says about the Lily Irons. I know Ronald like that. Maybe if I do it this way, nice and slow so you can read. Need clog shackle. Tower's leg irons. But isn't that cool that in 1911 they were doing newspaper articles on handcuffs? You don't really see that anymore. At least not from the editors I've sent stories into. There's the two goofballs. So this is something that I thought was really cool that I'd really like to add to the collection there. It says here, the latest design called the Judd, used at present time by the Department of Justice. There you go. So actually, we know, we call it now the Malpy Trigger. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.